Hello everyone, it's the third part how to make the double D coil with the 3D printer. We have already made the transmitter coil and the receiver coil. We have already shielded for the receiver coil and now we have to place everything in the mold made in the 3D printer, adjust the balance and fill the mold with the epoxy resin. So that's all. But first we must make sure everything is fine. So I have connected the transmitter coil to the Arduino generator. Here are the capacitors that give us the resonance frequency 5.5 kHz. Well, here I have the Arduino with the MOSFET and other components. In the transmitter coil I have adjusted the resonance frequency as we did in the previous video. In the receiver coil we also did it, but now I didn't put the capacitors of the receiver coil because that way it will be much easier to adjust the balance. And then, when the coil will be ready, we can put back the capacitors of the receiver coil. Well, I will explain why at the moment I don't want to adjust the resonance frequency in the receiving coil. It's actually adjusted, but I removed capacitors because if we adjust the resonance frequency, the sensitivity increases and it's much more difficult to adjust the balance. Here we have the capacitor to protect the smartphone, two diodes and the resistor. The circuit serves only to protect the smartphone. Also here are the capacitors to adjust the resonance frequency of the RX coil, but for now I remove them. Well, this is the receiving part. I always recommend you to do tests before anything. Now we have everything ready, but before filling the mold with the epoxy resin, because then we cannot redo, we will check that everything works well, then we can fill the mold with the epoxy resin. Well, here we have the receiver coil connected to the smartphone. I already have the Smart Hunter app open. As you can see, the RX coil is connected here. Here is the RX circuit and the cable connected to the smartphone. And here I have the 5 volt battery, the Arduino and the transmitter coil with its capacitors. To adjust the balance, we have to move one of the coil and observe the amp value in the app. We have to get the lowest value we can. As this is just a test, we are not going to adjust the coils. We just have to get the amp value drop below 1000. And in this way we will know that everything works well. I am going to do the test like that. But I recommend you to fix the receiving coil. For example with insulating tape so that it doesn't move. And then move the TX coil to get the amp value less than 1000 so that it will be easier and then in this way we move the TX coil very slowly moving slowly we try the lower amp value less than 1000 another way is to heat softly the coil with something non-metallic for example some plastic or wood and so we heat softly and look for the balance Now we will test it. I am bringing a gold ring to the coil and we see that the app starts detecting it. As we did it just to do the test, we are not going to adjust at all. We have verified that everything works well. I lower the amp value less than 500. That means that we will not have problem when filling with the epoxy resin. Now we can desolder the two coils because we are going to need to pass the coil wires through this hole. Here is the hole. The capacitors are not going to be inside. We leave them out of the epoxy resin. We do it in case we want to change a capacitor or change the resonance frequency.
first we play the transmitter coil and then the receiver coil. In this way it will be easier to adjust because the receiver coil is more flexible. The transmitter coil is thicker and bending is more difficult. For this we first play the transmitter coil and fix it with the first layer of the epoxy resin. When the first layer will be solid, the transmitter coil will no longer move. Then, when we put the receiving coil, we fill the second layer, leaving the center unfilled, to be able to move the center of the receiving coil. And in this way, layer after layer, we are going to fill the mold with the epoxy resin adjusting the balance, to have the coil balance it when the epoxy resin hardens. To mix the epoxy resin, we will need epoxy resin, hardener for the epoxy resin, a plastic cup, scale with the 1 gram precision, because we need the exact proportion. First we remove this part. I did not do it, but it necessary to seal the joints with the glue before filling the epoxy resin, so that the epoxy resin doesn't come out on the outside. We remove these pieces, we put glue, we put these pieces back, and when it dries we can continue. I did not do it and it went wrong, because the epoxy resin came out and stained it everything. Here is what I talking about before. If we do not seal the joints of the mold with glue, the epoxy resin can come out on the outside. If we seal with the glue, it will not happen to us, so be careful with this. The epoxy resin is not yet solid to fill another layer, so let's wait a couple of hours more. <laughs> 